Hey, it's that guy again you watch on the YouTube. Yay. Okay, so we're here at you with, um, this is B from a and Inc. Coming at you with a review of Stalker Scorpionock. Just got this guy, um, at the Meyer store. Discount. I was so happy. Jump for joy. Um, so pretty much just a repaint of Scorpionock, but it's more of, like, the stealthy. He's a stealth bumblebee, pretty much. And he's actually a pretty cool figure. I mean, it's exactly the same as Scorpionock, but just the paint apps are really awesome. Transformation is just don't do the transformation. That's like really stupid and pointless. And so, well, I'll just show you some cool features he has. Um, one, his um, when you roll him, I can't roll him on the wood surface. Only oh, again, um, his hand spin, as you can see right there. So, and then if we, with Blackout, he still has a little knob there, you just attack the, uh, attach the Blackout, and if you spin it, they spin it, but when you hit the rotor on the Blackout, it'll spin too. So, one of his things he has, you can full flip these up, his little claws, there we go, claw, claw, that... So it's kind of like attack position, or something like that, you know? He's like, grab someone's face and just rip it off. Yeah, and that's one of his cool things, but they don't spin because they're locked in place by this little, uh... I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna fold this up. Um, there's like this little, um, notch thing that, like, it just folds right into there, so, like, they stay in place. So just bring these back up quick. Alright, that, and, um to his face, his face can go, um, come out and go down, like that, so he's like staring down at his opponent, or it can go up, so he's looking up, so he has some, he's not really good to articulation for his neck, it can't move side to side, like, but it can do some pretty good poses with, um, by face wise, um, his legs, pretty basic, they just go like this. I mean, if you would, were to make a stop motion of him, I guess you could do, like, really intricate, so it looks like he's actually crawling along, but, you know, if you really want to take the time to do that, but, this next thing is his huge spear gun. These things really, really, yeah, it's interesting, I mean, hit that, it just shoots out all the way, and it's got, like, this little red thing for, like, blood, or, you know, who knows, but it's pretty cool, and then, but... I kind of like see that little face on there too, in a way. But anyways, um, the whole tail moves from side to side. You can move this. You can move the whole like structure here, make it go straight. Or you can do, or you can just move his um gun, his uh, spear gun. So he has a lot of articulation. He's most of his articulation is pretty much through his tail. So that's where a lot of cool things you, that can come in through a stop motion if you wanted to. But a lot of cool poses you can do with him. What I was doing, I was um, just like hang him on something with his, by his tail and just have him in a pose. So, and then also if you um, let's get this, this straightened out, um, what things you don't know like might be is uh, when you like bring his uh, hand out for like, for, like grabbing something. His, um, you can see he does it for both of them too, um, his, uh, little claws spin, so, that, that was pretty cool. His sides come off, which is part of his transformation, just for them to go down here. I think the transformation is really, really stupid, because nobody's ever going to really transform. Just, it's just an awesome figure if you just keep him, like a scorpion. Like, how many Transformer scorpions are out there? So... This has been a review of Revenge of the Fallen um, Stalker Scorpion. This is the guy you watch on the YouTube signing off.